Hello guys. So August 10th, what happened in history in this day? So this is a new initiative which we started on August 8th and that time mixed responses came. Some people told you should continue this. Some people told you should not continue this. So we thought like tell you also like why we are doing this. Okay, Vaishayas will not do something without a reason. 2023 prelims and even before that 2021 prelims specific day which is pure GK is being asked in UPSC prelims. Okay, one time it came we ignored it but now 2023 again when such thing came we have to take it seriously. Okay, like example statement 1 7th August is declared as a national handloom day. Okay, it's a pure GK. August 7th can be many other days also. Maybe it is some world, uh, some uh, tiger day. It can be some environment day. It can be something. So many days are there. How many will you buy heart? So some things which is in uh, UPSC perspective, if it's important, that we will teach you. Okay, this is the plan. So August 7th is a national handloom day. Second statement, 1905, Sodeshi movement was launched on August 7th. Okay, so Quit India movement is there. Civil disobedience is there. So how many will you study? Okay, because to solve this, it's like pure GK, but question is not over here because the options are CSAT type options. It's not asking one or two, both one and two, not like that. They are asking like both one and two is correct and two is explaining one, meaning our whoever designed this National Handloom Day, they choose August 7 because that day it was Swadeshi Day. Understanding? But there's no guarantee. Maybe they randomly choose August 7 for some other reason. Maybe that day Gandhi did something about this handlooms or Khadi or something he would have done. So, you have to know statement 1, you have to know statement 2, you have to know that 2 is the reason that 1 is true. That is the first option. Second option is both are true, but 2 is not the reason. As I told, some other reason is there for National Handloom Day, day being August 7th. Okay. Or you can tell like 1 is true, but 2 is incorrect. Meaning it is not on August 7th that um, it happened. Maybe it is August 3 or something that it happened, like so this moment happened. So, 2 can be incorrect. Or the 1 is wrong, meaning handloom day is not on August 7th. It is maybe uh, February 30, or sorry, February 25. It can be something like that. But 2 is correct. So, any combination can be correct. So, it is a little difficult. They have made it already GK they are asking. In that, they are putting this kind of options. UPSC is at its lowest phase now. Okay, how much ever you love UPSC, we love UPSC, we respect UPSC. Something is wrong means it is wrong. Okay, this is not UPSC standard. This is not a UPSC typical question. That is what I told also. I made a detailed video telling uh, my message to UPSC board and I have done all the mistakes or all the problems which is happening. You will ask like, okay, UPSC have every right to ask questions. UPSC can ask questions, but there is a difference, right? UPSC civil service exam, UPSC defense exam, uh, PSE exams, banking exams. Those exams were different from UPSC for what reason? Why did you choose UPSC compared to state PSC? It's not only about the uh, position which you get after that. It's about the exam quality also. UPSC is one exam where we don't hear any backdoor entries. We don't hear paper leaking. We don't hear any uh, like any problems happening. UPSC does it very beautifully every year. So this year it has been at its lowest phase. Asking difficult question and asking it with difficult pattern. Okay. And it's difficult is one thing. Asking GK. You should ask tough, tough questions, okay, but you should not ask GK because if you start remembering every date and pinpointed names and dates of every person and everything, your preparation will never get over, okay, nobody can prepare these things. So still at our end, we will try to do an effort of teaching you different days what happened in UPSC perspective, like that same day maybe some American president resigned or something, somebody died, that and all is not UPSC's concern, UPSC is specific if I feel, I will try to cover, for example, here, World Lion Day, since 2013, we are observing on August 10th. World Biofuel Day, we are observing uh, since 2015. And this, I think it was India's initiative of telling to the world that it should be, there should be a World Biofuel Day. Okay, our petroleum minister only suggested this and that's why it is again important in India's perspective. Then Google, you know, it has YouTube, Android, Chrome, everything is there. These are all subsidiary companies. They decided to make a parent company named Alphabet. Okay, so Alphabet company was formed on August 10th again, 2015, which is a holding company and below that are now all these subsidiaries are there. So that reason, that is also one, a good interesting GK. Okay, then this again is about space related, space a person married. Okay, now with this private business people, everybody like Elon Musk and everybody are going to space and telling we are the first one to go to space privately, we are the first one to uh, live there this many days, like that, these kind of very weird GKs are coming. Again, the first person who married in space. Okay, it's a pure GK and it's not UPC level, but still I thought of putting it. Okay, out of all the things which happened on August 10th, I felt this also can fit into the list. Okay, then uh, the American gold medal. Okay, now you know chess question is coming, cricket question is coming. So gold medal, where a record in swimming which happened was on this particular date. Okay, Michael Phelps. Then again, 
uh, Nagasaki bombing already I told you August 8th it happened August 9th also it was important now August 10th also this is a day after the bombing okay so after this only Japan told we are surrendering August 10th is the date when they told we are surrendering in the war now birthdays and death days if I took also I didn't find many interesting personalities on August 10th but Fulan Devi Fulan Devi bandit queen even movie is there she was born on August 10 1963 in UP so these are the things which I felt important for August 10 like this we will try to do every day a pure GK five minutes interaction okay so a series if you are interested for UPSC perspective WhatsApp me in this number and subscribe this I will wind up and come with the next video thank you and have a nice day